Hi, this is Dan Heisman, Philly Tutor for Chess FM, and this is the Improve Your Chess video series for ICC members. In today's game, we're going to look at an amateur game. Uh, it's played at a fast 15-0 rate. Normally, we don't do uh, faster games. It's not really fair to scrutinize the moves when the players didn't have a chance to think about them that much, but uh, the player who submitted the game is someone that I know, and uh, it is a good game so we can learn something from it. So let's take a look. All right, so white opened up the game d4, black plays d5, and white plays bishop f4. So that's the London system. Um, and black has a lot of ways to meet that, and black plays c5 right away. Now, c5 is a break move, and it's basically playing a queen's gambit reversed. Uh, some of my students say, oh, I can't play that because the pawn's not guarded. Well. Suppose white takes that pawn. Now, black could win the pawn back right away, and a lot of my students do stuff like this, but there's no need because white can't hold on to the pawn. So, for instance, suppose black plays e6 and just threatens to take it, and suppose white tries to guard it with something like b4. Well, already black would be winning. He could just play queen f6 and hit the rook and hit the bishop, and he's winning at least the exchange here, I think. So um, these kind of lines are just you know, impossible. Once you learn that in a queen's gambit that white can't hold the pawn, then there's going to be a lot of similar positions where you, know, you can't try to get the pawn back. And it's just pretty much impossible in a lot of these queen's gambit type positions for the player who takes the pawn to try to hold on to it. So you have to learn not to get worried about that. All right, so black plays c5, and white just plays e3. And black plays knight c6, and white plays c3. So this is kind of typical. It's like very similar to a coal system, except that the bishop, instead of being blocked in on c1, is active on f4. So theoretically, this should be a little bit better than a coal system. Black takes the pawn. That's a little bit inaccurate. So here's a good general rule when you have positions like this. If your opponent has a knight that hasn't moved yet, and if you take that pawn, either it's going to give the knight that square or it's going to open up this line for the bishop. It's probably not that good. Here, the bishop's already out, so we're not worried about the e-pawn taking and letting the bishop come out that four, but we are worried about giving him the c3 square. So if black takes too early here and white takes back this way, white will be able to play knight c3 and get a good square for the knight. So. So in general, you don't want to take that pawn unless it helps you more than it helps your opponent. And once he moves the knight, then if you want to take the pawn, okay. But here, there's, there's no rush. So black here should just play either you know, knight f6, or if he's worried about white taking the pawn, he can just play e6. Um, he could even try something more aggressive like bishop f5. But he doesn't need to take the pawn. The computer says that either e6 or knight f6 is best. So here, black takes the pawn goes against the rule, and white decides to take back this way. Now, if you, if this position looks vaguely similar, um, it should, because we're actually transposing back into, believe it or not, a caro can kind of position. This is why it's good if you know one opening, it's good to study another. So, for instance, after black's next move, knight f6, suppose white plays bishop d3. All right, so this position might look like, all right, we're in a London system, but let's go back to the start. And let's say white had opened up with e4, and black had played c6, and white had played d4, and black plays d5, and now white exchanges. And now usually white plays bishop d3 first, and then black can play knight f6, and bishop f4, and knight c6, and c6, c3, and voila, guess what? We're in the same position we just got to from the London system. So we're actually in the exchange variation of the Karo can when we do it that way. So, so that's really what this, op this uh, transposes to. All right, so back to the game. d4, d5, bishop f4, c5, e3. 